Okay, so for the first method, I'll type the number one in here and then two, then select both of these and hover the mouse over the bottom right hand corner until it turns into a black cross and then click and drag down and this auto fills the numbers. The next method involves typing the number one and then clicking and dragging down then clicking on this box here which is auto fill options and selecting fill series and that auto fills the numbers as well. The next method involves typing the number one and then holding down control on the keyboard and clicking and dragging and this will also auto fill the numbers. The next option involves typing the number one and then right clicking and dragging downwards then release the mouse and these options pop up and then select fill series and you don't always have to start at one and increase by one each time you can start at whatever number you like and also increase by whatever number you like so let's say i want to start at five and increase by ten each time and also if you have numbers in the left hand column, you don't have to drag down. You can just double click and that will auto fill the numbers. Then the next option involves typing the number one, then selecting this cell and going to home and fill and then fill series. Now we will fill the series in columns, leave the type as linear, the step as one and the stop value will be 15 and OK. And that will auto fill the numbers. Another option is to type the number one in here and then select all of these cells and go to fill and series. And this time we don't have to put in a stop value because it will just stop when it reaches the end of the selection and OK. We also don't have to start at one and increase by one each time. We can change the start and the step to be whatever we want them to be. So if I start at five and then select all of this, I can then change the step value to 10 and OK. And this makes it start at five and then increase by 10 each time. Also, we don't have to have the number increasing each time. If I put a negative value in the step option, the number will decrease. So if I change this to minus 2.5 and OK, you'll see that we start at 10 and then decrease by 2.5 each time. Another option is to type two numbers in here and then it will try and copy this pattern. So I will go back to series and this time change the type to autofill and OK. And then it takes the pattern in the first two cells and copies it down the rest of the column. Another option is to use the growth type. So if I go back to series, I can change the type to growth and I'll change the step to two and OK. And this time it will multiply the previous number by two instead of adding on two each time. So the number just gets bigger and bigger. Another option is to type the number one in here and then do equals this number plus one and enter and then I can double click to send this down. And this works because this here is one plus one, but then this here is two plus one, and that pattern continues down the column. Another option is to use the row formula. With this formula, you can put in a cell reference and it will tell you the row number of that cell reference. So this is obviously going to be row one and then I can double click and send this down and the number increases by one each time as the cell reference moves down by one each time.
Another option is to use the rows formula. In this formula, it takes two cell references with a colon in the middle, and then it counts the number of rows in between these two cell references. And in order to make this number increase each time, I'm going to press F4 on the keyboard to put the dollar signs around the first cell reference to make it an absolute cell reference. So this won't move as I drag the formula down. So I will send this formula down and you'll see in this cell, we are only looking at one row, but then in this cell, we are looking at two rows because the first cell reference stayed the same, but the second cell reference changed. And this pattern continues down the rest of the column. Now, with these formulas, you can also change where you start and also what the step is, so the number that you increase by each time. In order to get this to work, you have to subtract one from this in order to get it to start at zero. And then I will put this in brackets and times this by two. And this will change the step to two. So it will increase by two each time. Then I can add 10 onto the end of this and this will change where the number starts. So now it will start at 10 and increase by two each time. Then another option is to use the sequence formula. Now this is only available in the newer versions of Microsoft Office. But if I type equals and sequence in here and then 15 and close brackets and enter, it fills the numbers from 1 to 15. And the sequence formula has multiple options. So I can say how many rows I want it to have and I want this to be 15. Then how many columns and I want for this just to be 1 where I want to start at. So let's start at 10 and what I want the step to be. So the number I increase by each time and I will put five for this and close brackets and enter. And you'll see this is now filling 15 rows and one column and it starts at 10 and increases by five each time. Then when auto-filling numbers, you don't always have to go downwards. You can also go to the side. So with the sequence formula, I can say I want just one row this time and then 10 columns make a start of one and a step of one and then it will fill the numbers from one to 10 going to the side. Then this will also work with the fill series option. So this time I will fill the series in rows and I will leave it as linear and a step of one and okay and then I get the numbers one to ten going sideways. Then instead of using the row formula we use the column formula instead and I'll use the cell reference A1 as I know that will be the first column and then when I drag this to the side the number increases because the cell reference changes. So here we're looking in column J which is obviously the 10th column. Then I have previously shown you that if you hold down control and drag downwards, the number increases, but if you hold down control and drag upwards, the number decreases. Also, if you go to the right, the number increases, but if you go to the left, the number decreases. So it matters which direction you are dragging it in. Of course, you can force this to change if you want. So if I put 10 in here and then nine, then select both of these, it will try and copy this pattern. So now when I drag downwards, the number will decrease. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you different ways of autofilling numbers in Excel, and that is everything.